Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I wanted to share my keyboard shortcuts for the edit page within DaVinci Resolve. Now, there are quite a few shortcuts, so I've documented them all here in a Google Doc, which is a free download for you. If you'd like to read through uh, the shortcuts and also start to pull them and adapt them to your own existing shortcuts. If you want a brand new clean start, then you can download my entire keyboard shortcut preset and install them with DaVinci Resolve and then all of these shortcuts will uh, match exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. Over the years, I've developed these shortcuts based around a JK and L editing system. And that simply means JK and L on the keyboard shortcuts are the primary way I navigate the timeline and then using modifiers with JK and L I start to process edits within the timeline. I'm also using an Apple Mac, a full size keyboard. So all of the modifier keys, shift, control, option, command are available, shift, control, option, command on both sides of the keyboard. So it allows me sometimes to use my left hand for the modifiers and sometimes my right hand. The other thing is I've also got the ability to have um, an extended amount of function keys. So F13 all the way to F19 as well as the numeric keypad, so one to nine, along with all the other modifiers. This is the reason a lot of these keyboard shortcuts work, so just something to keep in mind. So when you download the link to this Google Doc, you'll get access to the Google Doc and you'll also get access to comment. So you can simply highlight a line of text and add a comment if you like. This is a shared document, so anyone on the internet with the link will be able to view and comment and you'll be able to reply to other people's comments. But this will be an awesome place to collaborate, to also add opinions about whether the keyboard shortcuts are useful or not, or how else you would map them on the keyboard. It's important to keep in mind that this is my process, and so feel free to comment and take what you need for your process. As you scroll down, the keyboard shortcuts are grouped in terms of basic timeline functionality. Uh, the basic timeline and playback controls are up front, then navigating the timeline, clip editing in the timeline, edit point navigation, working with in and out points, uh, insert edits, matching frames, markers, track heights, edit page windows, clip colors, and other commonly used timeline features, track toggles, edit page navigation, media browser shortcuts, and multicam editing. Keyboard shortcuts are kind of like a new language. And so as you learn anything new, repetition is the most important thing. So you could simply have the Google Doc open on your computer when you're first starting to learn these keyboard shortcuts. And as you're editing, you can constantly refer back to a keyboard shortcut and practice them within the timeline. To end this video, let's go through the basic timeline and playback control shortcuts just to demonstrate the first section within this Google Doc shortcut list. So I'm in a timeline here, and what I can do is play forwards and play back using the L of New Zealand's and the New Zealand's J key. Now. If I double tap the L, it moves to two times speed, four times, eight times. Hitting K will stop playback. Shift space will play an in to an out point. Shift space. Oil and gas to We'll simply just play that section. If I hold Command L, it'll toggle the loop icon here, and then Shift Space will now loop through that in and out point. Option X will remove the in and out point, which is further down. What I can also do is play around a selection. For example, we just have a shorter clip, and I just want to play through this little edit here. I can hold Command Shift. And prosperity. The key. Uh, objectives for us and to our regional well-being and process. Toggle stop and go to last position is a functionality of the play here. So at the moment, spacebar is just playing and stopping. But if I hit N, as I play and stop, the play head will jump back to the start position. And it highlighted, and then it highlighted, and then it highlighted. So it's a really great way to continue to preview and edit as you're processing and prosperity. So I could nudge this, for example. And prosperity. And prosperity. And prosperity. And continue to preview that. Zoom in and out of timeline, obviously with the minus and equals key. And if I click the backslash key, it's going to zoom to fit the timeline. So I could be zoomed way in, backslash will fit the timeline. Also with the video preview up here, 
So no matter where I am, shift backslash will do that to the window. It also works even if I have the timeline selected. So if I zoom in and zoom in on the timeline, backslash will fit the timeline and shift backslash will fit the video viewer. As you're navigating with the J, K and L keys, if you stop and hold K, you can then use the J and L keys to move the playhead forward and back one frame. And finally, if I want to nudge my clips, I can select a clip and use the comma and full stop keys to nudge forward and back. And if I hold shift at the same time, I can nudge them forward and back five frames at a time. If I have my clip selected and use the trim edit mode, I can then use the same nudge keys, but I'm actually slipping the clip within the parameters of that frame marking. So that's it for the first section. Remember there are eight pages of shortcuts, so there are lots of goodies in here. Have fun downloading and reading through this Google Doc. Please leave a comment if you do have any questions or if there are any issues with this document. Remember you can also leave comments directly within the document and you'll be able to see everyone else who is using this document at any one point because it is a live Google Doc. That's it for this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And for now, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.